Hello, my name is Robert Hughes and welcome to my video tutorial for my procedural music plugin for WISE. This was created as part of research for my masters at Leeds Beckett University. The music system is structured as a 16 step sequences where notes are represented as numbers in a scale. This is done so that transposition can be done in real time. Markov chains utilize Roman numerals for chord values and the scales are limited to eight notes. These are done for simplicity. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a sound effect object. I've already created mine and I've named it Gen1. In the contents editor, select Add Source and select the plugin. Now open the source editor. There are a number of parameters that will determine how the music will play back. Ensure that playback is on and the volume is at least 0.5. You can also change the scale type as well as the transposition of the notes generated. The first thing that you'll want to do is enter a defined melody in the defined note sequencer. I'm going to enter a simple major melody. You can either use the sliders or type the note values in. You can also define alternate notes. Alternative notes are notes that can play instead of the defined notes with an equal probability. Additionally, you can define a second line of alternative notes. Again, these notes will play with an equal probability. For example, if two notes are selected, then they will each have a 50% chance of playing. If three notes are selected, then they will each have a third chance of playing. An additional feature of the alternative note sequencer is that you can select the value of 9. 9 corresponds to a blank or empty note. Using this will give a chance for the note to sometimes not play. You can change the scale type and transposition to change the note output. For the next technique, I'm going to open up a new sound. We follow the same steps to set up the sound. The Markov chain output utilizes two Markov chains. The first chain plays back chord tones on defined beats. The chord selected will determine the corresponding chord tones. The offbeat frequency is a percentage at which notes will play on beats that haven't been defined. This utilizes the second mark of chain, which can play any note within the note selection. You can change the note selection by unchecking one of the notes.
I'm going to briefly touch upon how randomization is created. You may have noticed that there is a random seed parameter that is exposed. To create randomization, the random seed parameter needs to be controlled by a modular LFO. To achieve this, you need to go to share sets, to modulators, and then create a modular LFO. In my example, I've already done this. The only thing that needs to be changed is the scope, which needs to be global. In the RTPC tab of the plugin, you need to assign the random seed parameter to the modular LFO. Also make sure that the values scale linearly on the graph. You need to do this for every plugin sound that you create. Finally, we want to play the two plugin sounds back consecutively. Firstly, go to the playlist container and press F10. In the music playlist editor, ensure that the loop count is set to infinite. Finally, there needs to be MIDI notes placed on the track to trigger the plugin sound. I've placed the first MIDI note at beat 1 on track 1 and the second one at beat 3 on track 3. Click on the first music track and go to the MIDI tab. Make sure that the MIDI target is set to your first sound. Do the same for the second music track. Ensure that the plugin sounds both have loop counts of two. Now when you click on playlist container and press play, it will loop. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has offered insight into my plugin as well as the ways that procedural music can be used within WISE. Thank you.